Welcome back guys, Shane, GTC talking here today about paddle shifters. Let's get right into it. So I get questions sometimes, why do you use your paddle shifters? Well, um, and I, and I know that uh, a couple of videos you've guys seen me use them. There's a lot of reasons why I use the paddle shifters. Um, you know, the, the transmission is set up to optimize uh, a lot of things. I mean, it's a, it's obviously uh, an intricate, super smart, computer driven uh, that's that's trying to match your driving styles and patterns and maximize gas mileage, but it doesn't know what you're thinking, right? So I use my my paddle shifters quite a bit, and uh, I, I especially love them in here because they're quick. Um, with these extensions on there, they're easy to use, and it gives me a, a better sense of control. So that's the first the first reason is a, a better sense of control, right? So when I'm driving along and I want to shift and I want to control the RPMs and I want to control how long that um, particular gear stays in gear, I want to use those paddle shifters. Now, I love it because without putting this in manual mode, I can just shift up and down. And if you leave it alone and just drive sort of non-spirited normally, it will, it'll automatically go back into drive in a few minutes. If you continue to shift and you kind of rev it out and so forth, it will stay there. Um, and so I kind of like that just during normal uh, traffic and so forth, I can hit the paddle shifters real quick like if I want to. So it gives me a better sense of control. I also like the paddle shifters if I'm coming down uh, a grade, I will downshift and let my transmission and my motor's compression slow the vehicle down so that I'm not riding my big Brembo brakes and causing a bunch of dust and early wear and warping my rotors and so forth. So it's very nice when you're using downhill, hold yourself back, sort of the descent control. It works really, really nice. Um, now I also use it when I am on a sort of a windy road and I'm not wanting to drive it super spirited and I don't feel like putting it in track or sport. Um, and I like it because I know I know when the curve is coming, the car doesn't. So I can downshift, hold myself back. I can pull through the curve. I can wind it out. I can let off, let the compression hold me back. I could upshift when I want, make it pop and crackle because I know exactly, my eyeballs see exactly what I'm trying to do. My brain knows what I'm trying to do. The transmission doesn't. So when I don't feel like throwing that in track, I, I love using these paddle shifters. And to me, it's just sort of second nature. It's not that much... Um, work. People go like, oh, how do you know? You just have to get used to it. You just have to use them. And I tell you what, these are a, these are a nice little addition. If you want to just rev the car, get some pops and crackles, go through the mountains and use your paddle shifters. That's what they're there for. I really, really love it. And I have to tell you, I don't miss a manual transmission. I had one. Um, <clears throat> I just, I really just don't. The whole, um, the technology these days with how quick these these shift uh, just gives you the opportunity to have both hands on the wheel. You're not constantly stabbing the clutch. Now, I know a lot of you people out there love your manuals, and I get it. I, there's something about having a manual, but for me, I haven't yet quite missed this. And part of it is maybe because I do a little bit of combination of some some driving within the city that has a lot of stop signs and stop and go. I don't miss the whole stop and go with the clutch and letting that out, especially in my Chevy SS that had the skip shift, where if you weren't driving and revving those RPMs, you go to shift from first and it blocks you out. You got to go first to fourth and you got to, oh, it was a pain. And I know the Chevy Camaro owners have the same thing, but that was, that was terrible. Um, so I love the paddle shifters. I absolutely love them. And I know um, my brother doesn't use them a lot. Uh, maybe he's um, a little bit unsure, and that's not a knock. I'm just saying he just doesn't uh, he doesn't use them as much as I do. But I just think it gives you a really nice sense of control. Sometimes I'll pull up to a stop sign, I'll see somebody pull up, and not that they want to smoke or they want to um, you know race. I will just quickly pop it into first and just see what happens. I also like sometimes, you know, if you're going through a parking lot, I keep it in first, and you can kind of you know maybe just get a little bit of attention while you're you're keeping it in first so it just gives you a lot of uh, a lot of control and i will tell you more often than not when i drive i use my paddle shifters uh there there isn't a time where i'm not where i'm not using those so i think it i, I think it gives you some control so sense of control driving style especially on some of the back roads 
where you're trying to avoid that downshift and then upshift and downshift and then it's trying to find that right gear for you. Now you can eliminate some of that by putting it into sport or track. It will hold those gears a little bit longer, but I, I, I like to do it just because it doesn't know what I'm thinking particularly. And then of course, coming down the hill, if you want to hold that vehicle back with the downshifting, it, it works great. Save your brakes, um, save the wear and tear and, and the compression of the motor. That's what it's, it's there for. So Tell me what you guys think about using your paddle shifters. I think they're great. And I will tell you this edition here of the um, extension, because I do think that Dodge missed the boat a little bit on these tiny little, uh, these little shifters. And maybe if they made them a little bit taller, um, a little bit more accessible, like the, maybe like the Nissan GTR or some of the other vehicles where they sort of go up and down on both, both sides, people might be encouraged to use them a little bit more. Um, but I, I absolutely love mine absolutely love mine so um another just plus on the vehicle as i get to know this i'm at 5,000 miles now there isn't a time that goes by or a day that goes by i don't know just love jumping in this in this car and and giving it a good rip and and i'm having a i'm having a blast you guys i think what i'll end up doing is do a 10,000 mile review i think that's pretty fair most people will drive about 10,000 in a year what's interesting is march is coming up for me and i only have 5,000 miles on it um, and I have taken it on quite a few trips. It's just that my daily commute doesn't rack up a lot of a lot of miles. But I'll do a 10,000 mile review. I think that'll be fair. And so far, so good, you guys. If you're thinking about the Charger 392, um, I'm not seeing a whole lot of downsides. Uh, you know, especially the four door uh, Challengers are awesome as well. But I just love the four door, being able to haul around the family in a in a you know muscle car. So. I um, hope you guys enjoy. Enjoy those paddle shifters. Start to get to use them and uh, get familiar with them and let me know what you think. Till next time. See ya.